Well, welcome. Welcome back to this next part in this series that we're doing. Um, today, we're going to be talking about how cool, how flipping cool would it be to be that end result for your clients? If you're a coach, this is a series for you. If you're a coach that um, you're like maybe you're really, you have a specialty in one area like, um, like fitness or mindset and your, some of your clients get amazing results and others just aren't like, you don't quite know how to be that end result coach for them. This is your segment right here. If you've thought about becoming a coach, we have a great program at Holistic a holistic coaching program that is opening up our application process is opening at your own university. My name is Lisha Antica. I realized yesterday I didn't introduce myself and some people are like, uh, who are you? I got these messages in the back of my, they was just really cool, right? In the other folder going, um, who are you? You didn't say who you are. So my name is Lisha Antica. I am a transpersonal therapist. I have my master's degree in transpersonal therapy. I am a master coach and uh, I got my start in fitness in 1998. It was my first certification program for myself. I began training yoga teachers in 2006. 2007 was the first graduating class. And um, I've been walking people through this holistic training um, for the last two years. So it's really, we, it's, I've taken that time to really hone in this training. I feel really, really confident about it now and ready to um, share it with more people in the world because you're going to get the results that you want and you're going to get the clients the results that you want. So we're going to be talking about um, a really special like signature thing today and that's emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence or energy anatomy is something that I friggin' love. So you're going to learn a lot in this segment. And then if you want to go deeper with me to learn the how and really what's going to be covered at, in our course, and there's two tracks to the course, there is already certified coaches and there's people that want to be certified coaches. Um, so if this is something that interests you, you can register for that. And we're going to go deeper into how do you coach in each of these primary areas of coaching. So um, I help fitness coaches get lasting results and be the end game for their clients. I help mindset coaches be the last um, end game for their clients. I help um, emotional coaches. Um, emotional coaches are usually life coaches is what we call ourselves. So I help life coaches really get that end results for for there, it's a mainstream coaching is what we really call this NLP coaches and, and all that. So um, spiritual coaches as well, as well as relationship coaches and business coaches. So if you are in one of those niches or you have been thinking about going into one of those niches, you are in the right place. You're gonna get some great content and information today. I'm gonna give you all my heart, but first I'm going to share this on my page. Jizz, hello, hello, welcome. So if you are here, what I'm asking, let me share this first, share to a page. Do, do, do. So let me know your name and where you're from. And the missing, oh, I said kissing, missing link to getting the results you want from your coaching programs or personal development programs. All right. Share it one more time onto my regular page just my me, and then we are gonna dive in. Why isn't it letting me paste? Um, I 
I'll just name it that. All right. And then a watch party. Whoop, whoop. And then I have to turn it down. All right, so the issue with this is I don't always see all of the content, the share. So um, please tell me if you're on by um, by commenting. I want to know that you're here. I want to know that you're watching. Um, it also really feeds my heart and soul. It tells me, oh, you're not wasting your time, right? Like. Like um, people got some results and, and people are listening. And, and for me, that's really important because I come on here and I'm going to give you um, everything. I'm going to give you my heart and my soul. I'm going to tell you how to get those results. I'm going to share what I know and what I've learned from my 20 years of experience coaching and, and in this industry. And I'm not holding back anything. So all I ask is you give me your name, tell me where you're from. And if you do have questions, if you do want, um, you know, if this is like, oh, well, how do I get this? Then we can dive into that too. I am absolutely here for you during the next half hour. Right? And then, um, then I'm going kayaking. Yay. So it's a beautiful day to be outside. So if you're joining me, I see that you're here. Um, all I ask is that you just tell me that you're here. So Josh and Bill, hey, Bill, um, let me know. Let me know. Say, hey, I hear, I'm here, I showed up, own your space. This is really what it's about. It's about showing up and owning our space, right? So um, today we're gonna dive deeper. We talked about the mindset and we talked about your physical body this week. If you haven't watched those lives, you can check us out at your own university on the page there. Um, and today we're going to talk about your emotional body, your emotional PowerPoint. So emotions are such funny creatures because I was talking yesterday, if you're, if you joined that live, um, and, and our emotions literally, you know, our, our nervous system, and they are very connected to our brain and our memories and our life experiences. And we can really, if you've ever had a thought, right? And that thought or listened to a song and that thought brought up a memory and that memory brings up a, a, something that you're gonna cry about <laughs> or laugh about. Um, it is, it, emotions are powerful. If you have ever lost your shit, um, maybe I'm just the only one in the world, but if you've ever lost your shit, um, it's like the emotion just comes over and takes over. And then let's go a little deeper here with emotion. If you have ever, if you have PTSD, if you went through something and you have a, a, a something that would throw you into a disconnect between your, your conscious brain and take over where the unconscious or subconscious brain take over and throw you into this, you might feel a ton ton of emotion. So I'm going to talk about motion and energy in two kind of different segments. I'm going to talk about two ways that we process emotion and feel and come up with emotion and how you can utilize this. Um, a little bit of the how I'm going to go deeper into the how in the program. So I haven't put that link up yet. Do to do, do. Let me find that link for you to register so you can get into the holistic coaching program. Um, training. So this is a free training that I'm giving. We're going to go over everything from how to coach in the six personal power zones, like what we're going to cover. And I'm going to go, you know, as deep as I can in the little training program, but what we're going to cover in our holistic coaching certification program. And then I'm also going to go into the business of it. So we're going to walk through a beautiful book that I wrote a couple years ago called the empire builder. It has been, um, the foundation of one of my hottest courses called The Empire Builder. And it's all about business, putting out your signature speech, putting together a program and launching it and putting together a um, book, right? And how to publish it. So I walk you through those processes because I rock at all three of those things. Um, that said, emotional intelligence, emotion, so emotion is one of the fastest ways that you can use your client's emotions to transform their belief systems and heal their body. And there's a bazillion studies done on it. Emotional intelligence is something right now that is 
really hot, really mainstream. Um, neural, um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is huge. I love my training in it. Um, hypnotherapy is huge. That's more on the etheric spiritual realm, but we'll get into that next next class. And um, so if you like this, if you're like, oh, I want to hear about how like how you can even do if we can shift things and get results even faster with the etheric realm um, and this aligns with you, the spirituality, go ahead and make sure to follow us here on your own university because you don't want to miss that one. That's tomorrow, probably maybe the next day. Um, so. But emotions, there's two ways that we feel emotions. The first one, so hi, tell me that you're here. I want to know who is joining me. So tell me your name and where you're from. That feeds my soul. Feel free to share this too. This is a free training that I'm doing. So feel free to share this with your friends and your colleagues. Um, I know that we have a lot of coaches in our community. So emotions. The first way that we process emotions, guys, is is memory. So it's connected to our nervous system, connected to our brain. We have to really clear that brain stuff and we have to train our clients how to think and master the brain in order to, to refocus the brain and use their brain instead of be their thoughts and be their memories and be everything to really transform their emotions and where they're at in the moment. So this works fantastic for memories that are are just prevalent, but for things like PTSD, when the disconnect happens and there, it's impossible to use the frontal lobe of the brain because the subconscious unconscious is replaying an old event, telling the body that it can survive, that it can handle it now. It's a, actually, when you get PTSD, when you start getting those symptoms, it's a really great thing. I've spent about 15 years studying PTSD and oh my gosh, like we look at it completely screwed up. <laughs> um, and I definitely go deeper into that in the holistic coaching training. But for right now, know that when you're in that episode, you cannot fix it through your brain. You just cannot fix it through your brain. So um, the emotions is how you have to fix it. So the next part of emotions, right? The first part is, is a mental program, you're kind of creating a feeling. It's uh, how you feel about something. It's pictures and stories, pictures and stories, pictures and stories in your brain. The next piece of emotion is an actual feeling, a sensation in your physical body. So, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm just, oh, I don't feel it, dude. You get that like thing in your stomach. You're like, yeah, no, somebody's lying. And you're like, oh, yeah, BS. It's like, yeah. Um, I <laughs> went through this thing. It's like this stomach thing like you feel it and it's it's like mm, no no like there's a lie here I don't know what it is um but there's something is off so being able to know those emotions and trust yourself and those feelings trust that intuition which is more of the spiritual realm is really important for you as a coach to know how to tap into this awareness of your emotional body. So you have your mental body, memories, pictures, pictures and stories, and you have your physical body and how you feel things. And these are emotions. So you're gonna feel your emotions as um, a definition, like I'm happy, I'm glad, I'm sad, I'm blah, blah, blah. And you're gonna feel those emotions in your physical body. Now, the fastest way through your emotions, let me pull out my handy dandy thing here. I had it out yesterday, so I'm like, huh, I'll just use it today. So the fastest way through your emotions is um, truly to get really clear on how you feel them. And one thing that is very, very different, I know that nobody else really does it, um, energy anatomy, I've been studying energy anatomy, the chakra system, um, how we process emotions, how we store emotions, uh, issues in our tissues, cellular memory, um, since I was 13 years old. So nearly 30 years Now I've been truly, truly transforming my own life and helping people for the last 20 years transform their own lives through this awareness of, of, of energy anatomy and emotional emotion, energy in motion, um, awareness. Here's the kicker though. It wasn't until 20 or 2016 where I met um, a friend of mine 
His name is Chris Parker. And I just want to give him huge props here because he taught me so much. Everything came together. All my studies with Carolyn Mace, everything that I had done on EQ, everything I had done on subconscious, and everything I had done with David Hawkins' work all came together when Chris began to teach me um, the scale. And we actually developed this program together. I helped him develop this program for um, BP. And, and then um, ran into some issues and I said, hey, can I just, can I teach from your program? And what I did is then I upgraded it to um, everything that I understood and tied it into coaching. And so when you're learning how to coach in emotional intelligence at your own university, you are going to be learning this entire thing. You're also going to be learning your emotional set points. So I'm just going to share with you a bit of emotions that are in the four phases of emotionality. And I'll go deeper into what to do with these and how you can utilize these to get those end results for your clients in the um, in the comments down there, you can register. Why does it say, why am I copying a video? This is not a video. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just like, I just, I put the wrong link in there and then I upgraded it. Mm, I don't know how to get back to it now. Oh, okay. I will fix this as I go on. Not to get off track, but I did not give you the link to sign up for the, the, the certification or training on getting in results for your clients. Oh my gosh. Um, at all. I didn't do that. So it's be a holistic coach pages on support. Nope. Holistic coaching certification pages, dot pages, dot entreport, dot net. It's really long. So hopefully we'll just, there we go. So I also linked in here. So the other link in the comments here at your, on the own, your own university page, you guys, if you're watching, um, is for yesterday's um, live or the live before, because I sent out an email. All right, so back to the four phases of emotionality and why it's so important as a coach for you to know your own emotional set point. So this is part of the training that I give. It's also um, a deep dive with me. And it's something that I would do if you are a coach and you're like, I just want this piece. I would um, do private sessions with you guys to teach it because I think it's that friggin' important that um, you could hire me as a coach and I'll teach you this. <laughs> Is that important? Um, so phase one emotions are those heavy, we call them shadow emotions. And um, you can tell that your client is in those emotions because um, they're gonna talk about states of being, they're gonna talk about different acts that they're in, um, actions that they're taking, or they're gonna specifically talk about the emotions. So phase one is like shame, guilt. I mean, we know them, right? There's so much work in David Hawkins' work around there. We had um, all the water work done with um, um, Dr. Moto, Amoto. I forget his name. I forget him right now. But um, shame, get, guilt, embarrassing, self-pity, and failure, total failure. I'm fucking, I'm a failure, right? And um, everybody, everybody on the face of this planet um, connects with those energies, connects with those emotions. No emotion is bad. I want to just out that right now. It's bullshit that we give ourselves so much shame and guilt about feeling these lower vibrations, emotions, like, like they're not part of reality. And that denial stuffs them into our tissues and actually perpetuates the problems, perpetuates the illnesses. And we can't do that. We just can't do that. So to get out of that, you got to recognize if your clients are feeling these emotions. And here are just a few of the ways that you can recognize that, or you can recognize it in yourself right now. It's very important to know, to figure out your set po point. So for me, my set point is total failure. Um, I go there not so much easier. I used to go really easy. Actually, this December, I had a... Um, a horrible December and I didn't go to total failure. Um, I went to something else, but I didn't go to total failure and I was so shocked, but the state of being would be, I'm a total failure. I can't hide being nothing or being objectified. 
the actions are criminal. They try to hide. They start being self-sacrificial, right? Um, there's also worshiping bodies. These are controlling factors, worshiping bodies, needs, approval, owning, protection, controlling, blame. Oh, I blame this. I blame myself. I blame the world, right? So this is all phase one. And when you find your client in phase one, you kind of meet them in phase one. Then you start moving them through the phases. It's a specific way of coaching that um, we teach at your own university. Um, emotional coaching helps you work through the mindset stuff, helps you get into the body and the issues in their tissues and work through the body stuff. So knowing how to coach in each of these areas is going to help your clients get those end results that you want. So you'll be the last coach. They'll be the last program that they'll ever have to buy. And that was my intention when I developed this coaching training. That was my intention when I developed Amazing You to get people out of their ruts and to be like, boom, done. I like, don't need more. You have the tools in order to live your most powerful life. So phase two are things like um, they're moving up the scale. They're getting a little bit lighter. Um, apathy, hopelessness, grief, numb, numb. You guys, that's an emotion, terror, despair. Uh, things that we do here is we just feel like dying. And this is body death. So suicidal tendencies tend to happen right here. Um, suicide is something that I'm very open about, um, getting more open about as I walk through my own life experiences and skills, because it's something that's very misunderstood. By the time you get to feeling suicidal or your clients are there feeling suicidal, they're usually pretty, they're doing pretty good, actually. They're, they're, their confidence level is there. They have some strength there. Moving them into the deemed, the third, the third level deemed bad emotions are really, really important. Um, Self-abasement and, and um, so body death is a state of being a suicidalness, like I said, uselessness, um, undeserving victim, right? And numb is also a state of being. So these are just ways that you can know, oh, my clients are feeling this way. And you get to know these by really figuring out like where your base points, your base emotional pain um, points for yourself in each of these areas. So let's see if I can find phase four. <laughs> oh, I have one thing printed out so beautifully. And the rest are all notes of when I put together the program. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so phase three, um, I'm going to find this so I can just read it easily and effortlessly. Phase three is um, the behaviors. These are the emotions that most people do not want to feel. They just don't want to feel. And it's really, they're uncomfortable. They, um, I find my workbooks. They're, they're uncomfortable, but they don't, um, they're deemed bad. It's so funny. They're deemed bad. And hey, Elliot, they're deemed bad in, in society. And all of these are uncomfortable feelings. Like we don't like to feel uncomfortable feelings, right? So working with somebody with, in their feeling zone, it's going to move that energy super, super fast. But, um, but you have to relate to them in their zone. So the um, antagonistic is one, hostility is one. These are ways that they act, right? So there's actions. Um, the feelings is anger, right? How hard is it to be angry? I was just working with a private client yesterday and we're working with anger. And um, this week in my yoga series, we are literally moving through anger in our wave class. So anger is huge. We all have anger, right? So an anger when trapped can create major digestive issues, um, liver issues, liver problems, gallbladder problems. Hatred is another feeling here in the third zone. Who wants to be hated? Who wants to feel hatred? And it, it lands in our organs. So emotions, when we stuff emotions, land in our organs and cause disease. So you're helping your clients work through so much stuff by working them into their own emotional intelligence, meaning that you give them a blueprint for them to know how they feel and what they're feeling. So what their thought, what thoughts are they feeling when they have a certain sensation of feeling and where do they feel it in their body? Remember there's those two phases of emotionality. So this is really, really huge. Um, no sympathy, unexpressed resentment, convert hostility, anxiety, fear. These are all things that are part of phase three. So we're 
with your clients, excuse me, in phase three is huge, 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 huge. And um, everybody wants to feel phase four feelings. These are the fast feelings. These are, these are the politically um, acceptable feelings. And they're like, oh, yay, like, da -da 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 -da, right? So um, I just want you to know, like, the content that I'm giving you right now is huge. I've never shared it live before. I've never shared it outside of my my really high-end clients. So um, if this is something that you are like, oh my gosh, yes. Like, I want to know more about this. I want to know this. If it's resonating with you, please tell me so. Tell me in the comments. Like, I want to know that this is touching you, that you're learning something. That means something. That means more to me than, than anything. And this is the energy exchange, right? The gratitude and the energy exchange that is so beautiful. I don't care if you ever buy anything from me, but just sharing. I don't care if you study with me. I don't care if you want to be a coach or not. Um, I think that would all be great. Of course I do care, but I, do, I think that would all be wonderful. But for right now, like if you're getting something from this, I see a whole bunch of people watching, please, please, please just let me know. Let me know in the comments, send me a message. That means a lot to me as it brings me to my stage four, right? So stage three emotions, society like really bangs us for them. And it's like unright to feel them, but we can feel those really dark, deep, like we're fucked up emotions. And we're even more accepted than just really higher vibrations of, of being in our power, being in our anger. So then from that, we can move our clients up the emotional scale to conservatism, which um, isn't a political stance. It's actually an emotion. A willingness. A willingness. Are you willing? Are you? Can you accept this piece of you? Can you accept that memory in your life? Can you accept that that happened to you? Right? And you're moving them through this strong interest, right? This is where we want. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. I so appreciate it. Um, um, a strong interest. This is where if you're a business coach, you're a corporate coach, this is what you need. We were, we developed this program that I teach in this training for corporate America to, to go in and teach the managers how to really meet their employees at, at this in their their team at the level that they're at and then create more productivity. So you want to create this strong interest. If you're a manager, if you are a business coach, you want to meet your clients here and you can't move somebody from a phase one of, um, I'm trying to control everything and kind of a narcissistic personality to a phase four in five seconds. You got to work them up. You got to get into like, why are you angry? Who, who pissed you off when you were a child? Getting into those childhood memories, getting into why are they acting this way? Way. Why aren't they productive at work? Why don't they want to come into work? Why aren't they sharing with you? Why aren't they being honest? Why are they hiding? You have to get them through that. And you do that by not being scared of these stage three emotions that are like anger and hatred. I fucking hate my job. Okay, cool. Today you fucking hate your job. Today you fucking hate me and I'm your coach. Today you're pissed off that you took this training. That's friggin' fantastic. I'm so stoked for you. I'm going to hold that space with you. This is me as a coach, right? I'm going to hold that space for you. And and, and let's, let's dive into it. It is okay for you to hate right now. It is okay for you to be angry. It's okay for you to feel numb. It's okay for you to feel sad. It's okay for you wanting to try to control the situation. It's okay for you to feel like a total friggin' failure. It is okay for you to have all these emotions, but most coaches, most people try to spiritual bypass it. So we'll get into spiritual bypassing in the next training, but try to spiritually bypass it. Try to cover it up with some story. Try to heal it through something else instead of being in the present moment. And we can't move energy without being in the present moment. So you can tell I'm very passionate about this. But when you do get through this, you can move your clients up to strong interest. Woo, how would you like to have a team of people working with you with strong interest, knowing that you, you're you there, that love their job, love is in this fourth thing. And if you know the truth about love, like love cures all, right? Love can cure disease. Love can cure mental disease, emotional disease. Love can cure things in relationship. And if we're allowed to feel all the feelings without attaching to story, then this is a training, like this is something trained. Cheerfulness, right? Who wants to be around somebody cheerful? I do. 
I absolutely do. Enthusiasm. All right. Um, aesthetic, right? Having things beautiful around you. Exhilaration. Um, so action itself is in this. Like things are moving. They they have more fun with things. They're playing more games, right? So um, yeah, so these are just a few of the emotions and the actions in phase four. And everybody wants to get to phase four. Phase four, when you get there, your clients get there, your team gets there, more shit gets done, energy moves faster. So phase one emotions, the energy moves really slow. Phase four emotions, the energy moves really fast. And energy can shift the mindset, the relationship, the perspective. So I wrote a whole book called From Bondage to Happiness around perspective. And you can get it on Amazon. You can order it or um, in print or you can download it. And it's just a couple bucks. And, and it's really about perspective. And I talked about it from um, how your spiritual awareness and from a spiritual coaching perspective can, can shift this. But to get to that spiritual place where you can trust, where you can love, where you can open to your spiritual giftings, which we'll get into in the next training, you must, must, must know your emotional set points. And if you know, as a coach, your emotional set points, you'll be able to empathically, we're all empathic, empathically, intuitively feel and relate to where your clients are. So you might feel them physically, like I'm... Um, clear sense or yeah, clear sentient. So I feel things, um, in my body and those feelings, those places hold different emotions by knowing where I hold my own emotional intelligence. I know, Oh, that's what they're feeling right now. Cause that feeling that that sensation just came up in me, right? Randomly. Um, I have clients that are clear audience. So they'll have this like random word go through their head or a song go through their head or they'll have this random thought and they're like oh okay like they'll have like oh, it's all fucking socks and they'll be like oh okay that's where you are right now and so clairsentience and um clairaudience clairvoyance you might have a picture come up for you now everybody has these gifts these are our etheric gifts i'm going to talk about giftings and how we can use those in coaching next this is holistic training um I also am going to put out a video on our YouTube channel about how we can't talk about sex and spiritual giftings and money and how it's a bunch of bullshit. I did the video yesterday when I was in Hatcher's Pass. I was just overcome with this like, oh my gosh, like why can't we talk about these things? Because we must in order to develop to the next level in the world. This is how we're going to transform the world together. This is how you're going to transform your world by knowing yourself, your set points, how you feel walking through this awareness for yourself in all of the emotions and in all of the actions and seeing how and really analyzing yourself is how you're going to be a much better coach. So in this coaching training, you are going to be learning massively about yourself in order to really hone in your skills so you can get your clients those results that they desire and require, whether you your niche is as a business coach and you're doing corporate trainings or your niche is in fitness and wellness or you're a mindset coach helping break through mental barriers and, and mental blocks and, and manifesting blocks or you are an emotional intelligence coach, a life coach that is just like, I want to help people feel better, look better, feel better, right? You want to help people feel better. And that's your call. Your call is one to feel better. Well, how do you feel? Knowing how to coach in this emotional arena is so huge. Now, the other piece that I put in here that I don't have time to go into today, it's 10 o'clock. I have to be down the road. Um, it is 8, 8, and I am called to be on the river um, to do some spiritual work on the river and some healing. But <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh, that's just me sharing, so thanks for that. Um, but what was I saying? Now I've lost my train of thought because I've moved on. Oh, is the chakra system, right? So I've been studying the chakra system since I was really young, but in depth since I was 13 years old. I got really into working with the chakra system. So the chakra system is tied to the nervous system and the nervous system 
is what houses our emotional feelers, right? So when we tap into how we're feeling in the moment and aren't afraid of the feelings, you can dive into whatever you're feeling and be with it. And then it shifts, then it moves, energy moves. And if you know the chakra system, you can help your clients, you can help yourself move through this awareness. Now, I know a lot of people are listening to this and you're like, what if I don't want to be a coach? I don't, I want to know all this stuff, but I don't want to be a coach. I'm not a coach. It's like, I don't want to go through this training. I do have a program. It's called the amazing new program. I walk people through it personally. So you'd be my personal client. I do have a few openings. I always keep a few openings open for this in my schedule. Um, and I'm not doing a group program in it right now, but I might at a later date, but if you are interested in really learning, okay, what is my blueprint for my body? What is my blueprint for my mind? What works best for me? What is my blueprint for my emotions? And we'll keep going through this series and you'll learn the rest of blueprints that you will learn. You can do that with me privately. Just go to lishaantica.com, lishaantica.com. And it's the amazing you program. Um, but but for the coaches back to you guys, like, like to know how to work the energy anatomy, to know what chakra is tied in with what, to know what chakra ties into what dis-ease and or disorder. So your clients can kind of make sense of, of the blueprints of their life and why it's lining up. That's how you get the end result for your clients. It's a very holistic approach, whether you're a relationship coach, a business coach, or a personal coach of some sort, like this is mandatory for you to get those end results for your clients those personal results for your clients and have them move from seeking somebody else and taking another course and going, going, going to being your biggest friggin' fan, getting results out there, doing their thing in the world and, um, and loving it. Right. So this is, this is for you. <laughs> this is my gift. I hope you enjoy it. Please like your own university here on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram, Your Own University. Um, follow us on YouTube, Your Own University. We're going to have tons of more content. We have tons of more stuff going on there. Um, subscribe and like. This is my gift to you. If you want to know more about um, actually the how behind how you're going to learn how to, how to use this information, I am going to give a lot of that to you um, for anybody interested in being a coach or learning more about the coaching curriculum, the holistic coaching curriculum, the whole spectrum um, at your own university. We have applications open, so you can apply now. And we are, um, I take 20 people at a time. And so um, that's just how it works. I need to make sure that each group, we, we have this sacred group and everybody has, um, has room to grow because it's a very transformational group. It's a very transformational um, community. All of us are here to transform the world, transform our families, transform ourselves. We are all transmuters and um, we're here to do really big things. So I'm calling people that are um, here to do really big things that want to know the full spectrum. You can be a coach. It's a six month program for um, previous coaches. It is a year long program for those who also want to set up your business and dive deeper into um, the business aspect and, and how to do launches and how to do books and how to do all of that and money mindset and the legalities and all of those things. And, in the program. We go through that too, but if you've done that in another program or you've taken a bazillion programs and you don't want to do that anymore, there is a um, six-month um, option that you can be invited into, but everybody has to apply for those spots first because, um, because I choose who we get to work with and who's really serious about it and who's going to be the right fit for this training because it is truly transformational. It is a truly a commitment to yourself and to the transformation of the world and for your clients because you are going to get them amazing results. And I know that because I've done it. And I know that because I've also, it's been a huge blessing that I've gotten to um, be asked to get my PhD and walked through that dream. Half, I'm more than halfway through that dream, although now I, get to start kind of writing it soon. So that's daunting, but um, 
it's a big deal. It's a big process. Um, but I got that beautiful invitation from this course, getting the results that it gets. Um, it's been award winning. So you're going to learn a methodology that I've been working with people privately in the Amazing You program with. And um, you use it in your niche, in your way, right? So it's it's really beautiful. Anyway, that is that. I am off to have a day in nature because it's important. And that's how I feed my soul, my heart, my body, and my mind. And I will talk to you all um, either tomorrow or the next day. And we're going to dive into like the next fastest way, the ultimate fastest way to um, bust through barriers and get magnificent, miraculous results for your clients, miraculous results for your clients. So that is next. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.